Hey, this is Isara with UX in Motion, and I wanted to talk with you for a minute about expressions. Now, expressions are really, really cool, and they're little pieces of code that you can put into After Effects to do great stuff. So check this out. So this whole folding uh, like animation thing, if you check this out, boom, and I play this back. All right, you see that going on right there? That 3D folding? Um, effect well there's a few layers going on there's a light but the whole thing's being driven by two keyframes and a couple of lines of code now i don't know about you because i can't code for crap but i can do sort of simple things that after effects lets you do which makes your life really easy now to give you a few more examples of this i'm just going to show you uh you know this website by this guy dan eberts who's this awesome awesome dude he has a bunch of free resources and scripting all kinds of stuff you know, he's like all into the code and the crazy stuff like this, but it lets you do things that are not easy to keyframe separately in After Effects. So if you have any ability to, uh, you know, write your own code and stuff like that, well, then you should definitely think about uh, using expressions. And I'm going to show you how to get started with that, even if you don't know how to code at all. And by the way, if, if you haven't, if you have no idea how to use, how to do UI animation in in After Effects, just go check out my uh, my fast start video. It's absolutely free. It's on uxemotion.net. Put in your email address here, and I will send you uh, this video, which tons of people watch around the world, and they learn how to do UI animation in After Effects in just one video, which is pretty badass. So let's go ahead and check this out. So I'm going to go ahead and just re-import this and just rebuild this project for you, so you can see what's going on under the hood and how to use expressions. So first thing I'm going to do is just kind of resize stuff and I won't get into how I built this animation out per se necessarily but I will show you how expressions can be really cool and save you yeah, keyframes or allow you to do like crazy particle systems and um, physics and stuff like that. So if I just go ahead and I'm just going to make these 3D, and I'm just going to do a quick animation here. Okay. Boom. This is going to rotate out. So nothing fancy going on here at all yet. But I'm going to show you how this will all sort of come together shortly. So this is just going to rotate out, no big deal. Now what I want to do is I want it to hinge, right? I want this layer to be parented to this one and sort of hinge out. So it would be actually sort of really tough to animate this with rotations, right? Like I could add my own rotation property to this layer here, but I wouldn't be able to attach it to this edge right here because there's no way to attach an anchor point. So I could make a null here and have the anchor point of the null be on here and parent that and blah, blah, blah. But this is just way simpler if you do it with an expression. So check this out. So what I can do is I can uh, option click any property I want. So if I hit option click and it brings up this little code window here thing. And in this case, I option clicked my Y rotation property. And now what I can do is I can just drag this little pick whip guy over to the Y rotation of the other layer and click off and now what I've done and now that the property is red and what I've done is I've now matched these two properties so these two keyframes right here are now driving the rotation property of here so now they're just matched but what's cool is I can start to actually do cool stuff with it so if I do like times negative two right like you don't have to know how to write code to just like put in a couple little like numbers there right if i do that that will actually start to change the property and it will do the opposite and twice as much now what i can do is i can go back and i can parent my layer here with this left one and you can see that it is in fact doing this hinge thing it's it's rotating the opposite number and twice as much. So check this out. So if I go, just look at these these numbers right here. So if this keyframe here is at, you know, 90, negative 90, this one's positive 180. And that's just how that works. I can toss on a light real quick 
and just kind of get a little bit of shading so you can see what's going on. And this is actually in 3D, right? So this is pretty sweet. And I can go to like a custom view here and I can just look and see that this is what I've created. So expressions are a really, really cool way of working. Again, you can just option click your property. You can put code inside the expression. I, I typically use it to rig things up like this. So I'll drive a whole animation with just a couple keyframes like so, and then build a couple little scripts like this, um, little expressions to, um, to drive it. So that way in my UI, uh, animation projects when the design changes I can go back and I just change a couple keyframes here and the whole project will uh, like update see check this out see I can now move the position of these keyframes just these two and it doesn't matter to the whole rest of the project because it's still just these keyframes here so anyway that's just something cool that um, uh, professionals use a lot and it saves you a lot of time and if you can just kind of wrap your head around this idea of um, not just using the parenting uh, tool here, but to actually like tie these exp these property values to other pr property values, that just gives you a huge leg up in this in these uh, in these projects. So thanks for watching. You can go ahead and get the free training, and I will also be sending you links to uh, blog posts and free tutorials as well if you sign up. So you should go ahead and do that. All right, thanks for watching.